let's begin by loading the data and later visualizing it. As we can see here, we have the usual suspect imports. We have CV2, which is OpenCV, matplotlib, NumPy, and OS. We will use OS at the end of the session when we store some of the images that we create from the original ortho mosaic into files. We will use NumPy so that we can uh, manipulate our images very conveniently as matrices in a parallel way. And we will use matplotlib to show some pretty uh, figures while we are doing this. First of all, we are going to just read the images using cb2 in read, which is a function that we already used in previous sessions. The only thing is that uh, we will be re reading color images, for example, for the ortho mosaic and binary images for the annotations. So we will just do that doing in read all the time with a different flag for color or for grayscale. The annotations are binary, but we are going to consider them grayscale because it's easier to um, read and manipulate. And then we have just enclosed those calls to the inbreed with one flag or the other into two functions, which are read color image and read binary mask. For the binary mask, we also binarize the image. Sometimes we have masks that have some values that are not 0 or 255, for example, because they have done been done with, with GIMP and some of the paint tools uh, have like shadowing effects and, and attenuation of the black color. So we might have uh, colors that are not exact, gray tones that are not either 0 or 255. So we set a 50 threshold and force that the mask images are actually binary okay okay so uh we start by just calling those functions uh we create the the path to the side 5 mosaic.jpg image uh, into the which is into the inside of the zao site 5 folder you should have those in your computer or if you're running this in collab you should have uh, run the first cell that downloads those and then we just called read color image we we'll do the same with the um, bigger tops file and we also use the um, the right binary mask uh, function okay so once we have done that we can just show them and as we saw before I still have it here, okay? I opened the mosaic before with uh, GIMP, but we can also show it inside of our Jupyter Notebook. And here we have the same mosaic, just not so convenient for Zoom and other things. Um, we are also showing not only the mosaics, but also the tops. And as we saw before, we have an image of the same size as our mosaic but just showing one black dot where each subalpine bush is located in my ortho mosaic. It's important to stress that this was done manually. Sometimes semi-automatic annotation is used. If we are going to really be aiming at reproducing the opinion of expert, this opinion should be annotated as manually as possible. So here someone took the long time to annotate the position of each bush in our ortho mosaic. And we can even using matplotlib show the two things one in top of the other on top of the other and achieve a similar um, result to what we had here. Okay, where we um, showed where each bush was by superposing the mask image, the top annotation mask image with the original ortho mosaic. Uh, 